What is up y'all? This is Alex from Alex PC Tech and again back at you with another video and we're excited again because we have another special preview of a product. This is actually a new motherboard from Asus. This is the ROG Strix P550EX or Extreme Gaming Wi-Fi. I don't know if it's Extreme or EX but XE. I'm really curious why they named this board the XE as I've known that it is H, uh, other, other, other letters, but XE I haven't seen yet. If you have seen other Asus boards that are named at XE or with the XE badge, please do comment down below. But as for this unboxing, let's check this board out. So this is the box for the ROG Strix B550XE. It's quite huge compared to the other B550 that I've unboxed actually. This is the Wi-Fi edition and it natively supports the AMD Ryzen 5000 series. So you, no need for driver updates. It supports NVIDIA SLI, although we don't know if it will be, I guess it will be 8X for these two if we put them on SLI. Ryzen B550 Crossfire, it even supports Crossfire. And of course, the AuraSync PCIe 4.0 and then game first. Let's try looking at the back. Okay, so for the back, so these are some of the features or the expansions that we can expect from this board. But as of now, here are some special features of the ROG Strix B550 XE Gaming Wi-Fi. So we all know that the Strix line is aimed towards gamers and enthusiasts alike. But I guess that there are some features from the Maximus line that have trickled down to this gaming uh, motherboard. But we'll see or there are new special features that they added. 14 plus 2 power stages, okay, BIOS slash back button, integrated I.O. Okay, and VRM heat sink. So this is actually now one and Hyper M.2 X16 Gen 4 card. So I have to or we have to check what this is. Is this something new that Asus is only offering for their brand? Is this a proprietary product? We have to see, but I am excited to see what is or how does the motherboard look. And this is the, okay, yeah, it looks very nice. As you can see, <laughs> we can only see the anti-static bag, but we'll take the motherboard first and see what is in the box. So this is actually the packaging and then let's see what's on the motherboard box so what we have here is oh okay it's in a separate box so we can actually remove the box now set it aside and then see what is inside of this one okay so this one has what Okay. Oh my God. It's yeah. It, I guess it's a proprietary product from Asus. This would be why this is called XE because this is the Hyper M.2 X16 card. So there will be. Okay. So this will go on the second PCIe slot, I guess. So will it share bandwidth with the? GPU, I'm not really sure what is the bandwidth. Okay, but upon seeing this one, this is a Hyper M.2 Gen card. Okay. Okay. And this is aluminum. But the problem with this one is I really don't like that it is silver. Okay. Let, let me be that picky with the color. And it has the blower style. Okay. Not sure how this performs, this blower style fan. It's small, but as you can see, this has four, one, two, three, four slots of NVMe M.2 SSD slots. So 
this can also be set up as a RAID. Imagine you have four M.2 slots NVMe and they're set up as RAID. I mean, how awesome is that? This is actually an XE for this because of this proprietary design by ASUS for the M.2 RAID setup. So, whew, amazing how technology is really growing. So this is actually the heat sink. As you can see, this is the heat spreader as there are thermal pads on the side. But I'm baffled to know why are they doing it horizontal or why are they doing it slanting? Oh, so is that to like adjust to the design of ASUS where everything is slant is lined up slant slantly like on the hero or on the strix motherboards i guess that's the reason but let me know down in the comments if you know but as of now this is really mind-boggling imagine the performance raid 4000 Whew. so what I, I'm, I'm really excited what this brings to the table when it comes to storage or other applications. Next is, we'll set that aside. Next is, okay, we'll see what's in the box. So we have here, oh, how thoughtful of Asus to have us not losing our keys. Very good, very thoughtful Asus, I like it. Let's put that aside. Then we have the Republic of Gamers card. Yay! You have your card. Thank you for publishing Rog Strix, blah, 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 blah. Follow us on, blah, blah, blah. And we have here, oh, I guess this will be the manual. And these are the usual, some decals. Let's put those aside. We'll open it from here. Another layer. ka -ching. And we have all the connectors. So this is the... M.2 standoffs, M.2, okay, let's check if we are, we can focus on this one, yeah. Standoffs, these are some PCI, or uh, some SATA connectors for your hard drive. Here are some uh, split, uh, fan headers, three pin to three pin, okay. Then this is some, here are some, again, some RGB connectors. This is again, what are some screws? Another screw, another set of screw, and okay, mm, two. These are heat dissipators for single, for single sided SM.2 SSDs. Stick this pad on the existing M.2 pad. Okay, so there's some additional double-sided tape for your M.2 SSDs. Then we have the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth antenna that we have here. And then we have some cable ties, USB-C to 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Okay, very thoughtful, very nice that we have that here. And another M.2 double-sided tape. Okay, so after that, You'll just return this box. Oops. With that aside, with this box aside, let's move into the motherboard itself. For the motherboard. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Rogue Strix XE, are you ready? Gotta get, 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 get. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Strix. I can see that this is a Strix design. Okay, so we have here the heatsink, the I.O. shield integrated with the heatsink. Two PCIe 4.0 X16 safe slots that are reinforced with metal molded into the slot itself. There are also two M.2 slots. One is 4.0 and the lower one is for 3.0 with aluminum heatsinks for better heat dissipation. But please take note that when the second M.2 slot is populated, SATA 5 and 6 ports will be disabled. To the lower left of the board, we'll see the Supreme FX chip along with premium Japanese audio capacitors for better sound quality, front panel audio connector. Above that is the SPDIF out header to plug Sony or Philips digital interfaces, the Q-code LED to indicate two digital 
digit codes of the board state, a fan and pump header, RGB header, 4-pin, a 3-pin addressable RGB header, of course this wouldn't be a rug motherboard without the abundance of RGB customizations. After that, there is another fan and pump header, a thermal sensor header, a USB 2.0 headers, two of them, Thunderbolt headers just above the CMOS header, speaker header, and finally the front panel connector. At the side, we'll see the SATA 6GB ports, 6 of them, a USB 3.2 Gen 2 front panel connector that supports USB Type-C, another USB 3.2 Gen 1 header, a 24-pin power connector to provide juice to your ASUS motherboard, and another 3-pin RGB addressable header for your additional red strip. After that, we have the QLEDs that check key components during the board's booting process. We have 4 dim slots at the maximum of 128GB in total that has dual channel architecture and supports frequencies up to 4866 but please note that when overclocking this will actually depend on the mileage of your hardware. As for the top, we have another RGB header, two CPU fan headers, one is optional in case you are using an air and AIO pump header. Finally, on the upper left, we have two EPS 12 volts, 4 pin and 8 pin CPU power connectors, and a BIOS flashback LED that serves as an indicator for the BIOS flashback. As for the rear I.O., we have the BIOS flashback button for updating BIOS even without RAM or CPU, four USB 2.0 ports, a USB Type C connector, two USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type A ports, a 2.5 gigabits Ethernet port, a Display port. HDMI port that supports up to 4K 60Hz, twin Wi-Fi 6 connectors along with a Bluetooth, a USB Type-C 2.0 audio connector, and your standard audio jacks. So that is it for this video. I hope you like our content for this week as this is a special video with the announcement of the ROG Strix B550XE version. This is actually the Wi-Fi version and like if you like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel as it will help us grow and pump out more contents such as this one and see you on the next video.